Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I want to talk to you about what I think is the best everyday harness for your dog. Some time ago, we did a video about how to choose the best harness for your dog. And since then, we've gotten a lot of questions about what harness we'd recommend for people and their dogs. And even though I recommended a few harnesses in that video, today I want to tell you about one specific harness that's perfect for your daily walks and hikes. It's also great for tracking. I've also seen a lot of people use it for bite work, and you can even use it as a starter harness for sports such as canny cross, dog scootering, or bike touring. And then if you decide to take those sports more seriously, you can invest in a proper pulling harness. So in this video, I not only want to recommend this harness, but I also want to explain what to look for in a harness. So this video might actually be helpful to everyone who's looking for a harness for their dog. So if you're a dog owner and you're an active person, you might be interested in this. So let's take a look at the harness. It's the nonstop line grip harness. And today I want to tell you guys why I think it's one of the best short harnesses on the market. A new place, a new home. For a while, let me feel alive Nothing to hold me back Take my time, just enjoy the ride I know man, passing by Life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so and in Somewhere I can find myself A few weeks ago, when we got this harness for testing from Nonstop Dogwear with a few other things to test. This is kind of an upgraded version of the very popular nonstop line harness, which is almost the same, only without the handle on the back. And, and we have the version without the handle and we've had it for a long time and it is a great harness. But the reason I wanted to try this grip version with the handle is because on our hikes and walks, we often switch between having Rancho off leash and on leash. And when he's not on a leash, and we're passing someone, crossing the road, you know, any situation where you need to be able to control your dog. I want to be able to grab him by the handle. You know, it just makes me and other people feel more at ease. And I don't need to worry, Rancho's going to do something stupid, which he sometimes likes to do. And the original line harness doesn't have a handle on the back. So I kind of regretted not getting the line grip in the first place. Plus the one that I got was a bit too tight on Rancho and I wanted to try the next size up. Now I want to show you guys the difference between size 6 and 7. Now size 7 is actually a bit on the looser side on Rancho, but with a short harness I'm okay with that. It doesn't slide down onto his shoulders when he pulls and that's important because his movement is still unrestricted and these short harnesses don't need to be as tight as pulling harnesses. Rancho has quite a deep chest and I prefer to see a bit more space behind his elbows. Size 6 was a little too tight there for my liking. I mean, we used it for quite a long time and we didn't have any issues with it. But still, I feel like just for walks and hikes, size 7 is, uh, is just more comfortable. So I'd been thinking of getting the line grip for a long time and then nonstop reached out to us and asked us to test some of their products. So I thought it would be a great opportunity to finally try this harness out. And if you've been following our channel for some time, you'll know that our favorite dog gear brand is without a doubt nonstop dog wear. You know, we've been using their products for a long time and we swear by them. This is all the gear that we have from nonstop. So our primary focus in this video is going to be this harness. But at the end of the video, I also want to tell you something about an awesome leash we got for testing because honestly it's probably the best and the most versatile leash that we've ever had. But now back to the harness. 
So why is it one of the best harnesses you can get for your daily walks and hikes? Well, first of all, it has a Y-shaped front, which is necessary for the right freedom of motion. It allows your dog to move their shoulders freely and it doesn't restrict them in any way. If you still haven't seen our video about how to choose a harness, please watch that video first because I explain in much more detail why a Y-shaped harness is a better choice than other types of harnesses. I also talk about how a harness should fit your dog and I think watching that video could help you a lot even if you decide for a different harness in the end. Another thing that makes this harness so good is the fact that it's very easy to put on. It has two buckles, one on each side, and you just slide it over your dog's head and you close the buckles. Then this may surprise you, but what I like about this harness is that it's only adjustable around the chest and not around the neck because any extra buckles on the neck straps could rub on the skin and cause chafing. And since it's the part where the most friction occurs, because you know, when your dog pulls even just a little, they lean into the harness and the neck straps push against their body. So having any buckles there wouldn't be a good idea, especially if you have a strong puller and you do a lot of hiking, or if you wanna give Kenny Cross a try or any other mushing sport, I definitely recommend a harness without buckles on the neck straps. However, there are situations where you might need adjustable neck straps. And the first one is when you have a growing puppy, because then you can just adjust the harness as your dog grows and it will last you much longer. And also if your dog is a very muscular or stocky build, uh, it might be harder to find a harness that's a good fit. So in those situations, the more adjustable the harness is, the better. And I'll link some of those harnesses in the description of the video, along with the line harness and the line grip. And another thing that I like is the inner lining. It's really nice. There are no hard edges. The padding's soft and it's made out of a material that actually prevents water soaking in. So the whole harness dries up pretty fast if your dog jumps in the water. Then it has three attachment points. The first one is the ring on the back, which is the one that we use the most but you also have a loop under the dog's chest, which is great for tracking because if you use this loop, the, the tracking line doesn't get tangled around your dog's feet. And a third attachment point is on the chest and it should prevent your dog from pulling. However, you know, with Rancho, we only use harnesses in situations where we don't mind him pulling and not as a tool to teach him not to pull. So we never use this one. One little detail that no one really talks about much is the width of the chest strap. On this harness, it's not too wide. And trust me, with narrow-chested dogs whose front legs aren't too far apart, it's a big deal. Many harnesses have a chest strap that is just way too wide and it rubs against your dog's front legs, which is not only very uncomfortable, but it causes chafing in the area. So I really appreciate that this harness has a narrow chest strap. So please pay attention to this when you're choosing a harness. This is very, very important. Plus the handle that I mentioned at the start, I'm a big fan of it. You know, before we had to use a collar instead, you know, to be able to grab him, but now we can just use the harness and it's just super handy. But if you don't let your dog off leash while walking in this harness, you don't really need the grip version and then the nonstop line harness might be better for you. Also, if you have a small dog, you probably don't need the handle. And the grip version actually only comes in black but the original line harness comes in many more colors. So if you want a fancier color than black, you need to go for the line harness. Another thing that I'd like to mention is the fact that there is padding under the D-ring on the back, so the ring doesn't just jump up and down on the dog's spine. We've had a harness before that was otherwise good, but because there was no padding under the ring, we stopped using it. I've heard from a vet that it can cause micro traumas and over time that can lead to long-term health issues. And last but not least, for safety reasons, this harness is equipped with reflective features that make your dog visible in the dark. So all in all, if you're thinking of getting an all-round harness for your dog, I think this one will do the job perfectly. And thanks to its ergonomic design, it'll be comfortable for your dog. And I like how all the little details allow for different activities so you and your dog can embark on as many adventures as you like. And as I promised, let's take a look at the cool leash that we got for testing. It's the Touring Bungee Adjustable Leash. And I was really excited to test it. 
It has several cool features, so let me tell you about them. Well, first of all, you can easily adjust the length of the leash using an aluminum buckle. You know, sometimes you, you may need a long leash, sometimes you may need a short leash, so that's great. Then you can also use the buckle to put it around your waist if you need to free up your hands, which is really handy. And a part of the leash is elastic and it softens abrupt pulls, uh, which makes the walk or hike more comfortable for you and your dog. So using the buckle, you can also tie your dog to a tree or a pole, maybe when you're camping and need to keep your dog safe and you just don't have the time to hold him. And another really cool feature is that it has an extra handle just behind the carabiner, close to the dog. At first, I didn't think that I'd use it much, but it's great when you put the leash around your waist and maybe you're walking downhill and you want to keep your dog close to you or when crossing the road or basically in any situation where you want your dog close to you for whatever reason. And since I mentioned the carabiner, I think Nonstop now uses it on all of their leashes and it's the twist lock system, which makes it virtually impossible for your dog to get loose. We've had leashes before that had really low quality carabiners and Rancho even got loose several times. And trust me, you don't want that to happen. In some situations, it can be pretty scary. So I really appreciate this plastic carabiner can withstand up to 300 kilos, which means that even big dogs that are strong pullers can break it. And like all non-stop gear, it has reflective features. And one last thing, uh, I love the design. I just think the leash looks really cool. So for me, it's definitely my new favorite leash and I just love using it. And I think if you're an active person that likes to take their dog on different adventures, you'll love it too. All right, guys, so it's all for me today. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, you can give us a thumbs up or you can subscribe to the channel and let us know in the comments what harness you use and why. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.